Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to call a service method, which is a get books method inside our book list component. In order to call a service method, first we need to inject the book service to the book list component. Let's do that. Go to the book list component within the constructor. Let's create a private field, private. I'm going to call this underscore book service. Which is of type book service. Let's import the book service. So now we have injected the book service to the book list component. So first let's get rid of this hard coded values from the array. So now let's create a method. I'm going to call it as a list books. Inside this, we will make use of this book service to call a service method. This dot underscore book service. Right now we have only one method, which is a get books method. When we call this method, the method will not get execute until unless we subscribe to it. We have already discussed about the observable and observers in the previous video in detail. So make sure to check out that video. I'll drop a link in the description, se description section of this video. So let's subscribe to it. So once we subscribe to the observable, we will get a response and that response will be a callback function. I'm going to call that response as a data. We will make use of arrow function. First, let's actually display the data in the console. Console.log. Let's print the data. Let's save this. So now we need to call this list books method inside our ng on init. So let's call that method and this ng on init will be called as soon as the book list component is created. So now let's save this and let's go to the browser and we should expect the data in the console. Let's navigate to the developer tools by pressing F12. As you can see in the console, we are getting some error, which is access to XML HTTP request at the uh, URL web service URL from origin HTTP localhost 4200, which is our Angular application host has been blo blocked by course policy. So this is a most common error that we will get in when we are building a web applications, especially the rest web applications. So we are going to tackle this error in our next video. That is coming up in the next video. I will see you in the next video.